Hello Scorpio Sun Moon and Rising. Welcome back to my channel. My name is Victoria. This is Radiant Moon Tarot and we are having a look at your money and your career for August of 2024. So we do have Mercury retrograde starting at the beginning of the month and we also have a new moon in Leo at the same time. Okay, so the new moon in Leo is really encouraging you to boldly follow your passion, your goals, and your dreams. So if there's something that you've been putting off, something that you really want, this is a great, bold, inspirational energy for you to take the lead, to take charge, and to manifest something into your life or get started on that project that can make you some money, all right? Or even just try something new, try something different so that you can hopefully um, bring in a little bit more financial abundance into your life. We do have on the 19th of August a full moon in the sign of Aquarius. Look back to the beginning of February to see what you were manifesting back then or to see what new beginnings that you had somewhere around there at the new moon in Aquarius, because this can be where things come to fruition for you. So some of you could be receiving something. It could come in quite unexpectedly for you as well, um, because Uranus is the modern day ruler of Aquarius. Uranus brings freedom, brings a little bit of rebellious energy, just so you're aware, and um, it can bring something very unpredictable and something very unexpected. So it could be some shakeups and things like that, um, but they can be in alignment with your goals. There could be some unexpected turn of events that go around, um, especially with a full moon um, in that energy. But Full moon's great time to pause and reflect, to think about what is holding me back, where do I need more courage, where do I need to take more initiative, and uh, yes, like I said, you could have something coming to fruition for you. So let's pull out your cards. We've got balance. Balance, very important. Page of cups. Fortune teller. Hmm, it's got a little bit of mysterious energy coming in here for you. Uh, the four of cups. Ace of Pentacles right in the heart of your reading. Bam. Mic drop right there. Queen of Swords. Judgment. Chariot. Ooh, maybe some of you are buying a new car. And we've got the Six of Wands. Back of the deck. Very interesting. Back of the deck, we've got the Temperance card. Now, the Temperance card is uh, Sagittarian energy. Okay, um, freedom, big picture, um, Sagittarian energy is well, maybe a little bit rebellious sometimes, but is, you know, really creative and makes bold, strong moves, right? Ruled by Jupiter, expansion, growth, good luck, good fortune, all of that kind of stuff. But the Temperance card is your guardian angel card, right? So you're guided in a certain direction and uh, you may be seeing some signs, so follow the signs. The temperance card does bring in calm, patient energy. It also brings in balance. And we also have the balance card. And it brings in a healing element as well. So peace um, brings in peace to a situation, restores peace and harmony into your world. And this can be something that is happening or an underlying influence, something that uh, is going on behind the scenes or something that is really um, you know, uh, your underlying need for peace and balance and stability and harmony in your life. But we do have the Ace of Pentacles. We'll start with this one right in the heart of your reading. The Ace of Pentacles, new, something new uh, or something improved. This can be money coming in. This can be you making a purchase and money going out, but it's something you want. Okay, so you get something in return right underneath that. We've got the chariot card, right? And so chariot card can represent a vehicle. And right above that, we've got our uh, little mischievous page of cups right there. So something that you've been dreaming about, okay, something you really have your heart set on, page of cups, you might be purchasing. And yes, this could be a vehicle. It can also be something like a new home, a new neighborhood, that kind of thing, even a new job. All right, because the chariot card is one of movement and it is also one of successful moves or successful movements. So we could have something very exciting here for you. It could be a new job where maybe you have to uh, travel for work. Um, this can be, uh, you know, a new job at another city. Maybe you've got to relocate. Um, uh, but it's something very exciting for you. The Ace of Pentacles can bring in all kinds of new financial beginnings. 
This can be your investment opportunities, your new jobs, the seed, the potential of something here that can grow into the Ten of Pentacles. And the Aces do bring um, some good luck anyway, um, but the Ace of Pentacles can actually bring you fortune. Uh, it can be very, very lucky. Um, it can be anything from five bucks that you find in your pocket. Um, and maybe you have an op maybe you can, uh, you know, go buy a lottery ticket or something like that with that and hopefully make it a little bit more. You never know. Um, you know, it can be a windfall, right? Um, but when we have the Ace of Pentacles, we've got this fresh money energy, um, that is very much casting a wonderful light over your entire reading. Now with the balance card, the Page of Cups and the Fortune Teller, especially, you probably haven't seen that card before. It's kind of a little bit freaky and a little bit cool all at the same time. There's some faded energy that's coming in here for you guys. And the Chariot is a card of destiny anyway. Um, you know, the Temperance card, big faded energy. Um, judgment card, faded energy. The Chariot card, faded energy. And the Fortune Teller shows there's something uh, a little bit, how should we say, a little bit mystical and magical that is going on. Number one, um, the beginning of the month right here, New Moon and Leo. Fortune teller, be your own fortune teller, set your intentions. What is it that you're dreaming about? Page of cups. What do you have your heart set on? What do you envision for the future? What do you want to create? Where do you want to see change? Where do you want to see growth? Okay, this shows the power that you hold within you to manifest something into your life. So, you just never know what may happen. Quite often, we do get a surprise when the Page of Cups comes in. Um, we also get a little bit of an awakening with the Page of Cups here as well. Your intuition is very much on point. You're very connected with the stars, the, stars, the universe, um, with the moon cycles. And so use that power to your advantage. This can also be uh, something coming true for you. All right. Maybe something was predicted or maybe you've had a little bit of uh, insight yourself. You could have some deja vu that goes on. You could just be uh, seeing a whole bunch of signs, symbols and synchronicities and they are pointing you in a, in a certain direction or they're giving you a little bit of heads up. So very, very spiritual, mystical, magical and maybe in some ways a little bit unexplainable energy here right at the beginning of your reading. But make a wish, though in this energy because the page of cups can be something that you didn't expect right it, and because it quite often does have a surprise element to it okay and it's like something you've been dreaming of but maybe you don't quite 100 percent believe could happen and because we do have the ace of pentacles which tends to be a gift from the universe this can be something that you truly have your truly have in your heart's desire but this also speaks to your ability to create. So perhaps for some of you, your key to making money is through your creative side. Not everything is logical. Not everything is boring. So maybe you're looking for something fun and something that you can really use your creative strengths as well. A lot of you are very creative here, Scorpio. We do have balance here for you as well. So perhaps part of the life that you want to create or the new beginnings or the new outlook or the new way you conduct yourself is with the key of balance in mind. Remember, we've got the temperance card bringing you balance here as well. So find your balance, balance of yourself, inner self, right? Inner balance, but also balance between work and home, balance of responsibilities, balance of your money, right? Always very important. If we have more money going out than we have coming in, we're going to get ourselves in a little bit of a sticky wicket rather quickly. Um, so where do you need to find that? That key element of balance because it's a repeating message here for you twice okay um so we do really do need to pay attention to that okay um you know if you share money with anybody uh are you both equally responsible right or is it lopsided this is the time for you when you can uh get things back on track or maybe that's where your focus is right we take a new approach on our dealings with money um in a healthier way 
The Four of Cups here can show that maybe there's something missing or you're waiting for something, right? The Four of Cups is like, I'm not interested, I'm bored, I'm feeling disconnected. And some of you are just feeling this way at the moment about life itself. Some of you are feeling this way about your job. It's like, it's okay, pays the bills. But am I excited to go to work every day? No. Am I using all my true gifts and talents? No. <laughs> right? So there's just something missing with the Four of Cups. But the great thing is with that Four of Cups is that even though right in front of us may not necessarily be something that's floating our boat at the moment, there's something coming in from the sidelines. But we have to be open to it. We have to be willing to see it. We have to be willing to see the potential. We have to change our perspective in order to recognize that. And where is this? A uh, little llama or whatever he is looking or not looking. So he's got his eyes closed. Ace of Pentacles. So what does that mean to you? Right? Money. Money, job, knowledge as well. Knowledge is power. And knowledge is the key sometimes to making our dreams come true. So open your eyes. Right? See things. We want to get in receiving mode because the Four of Cups, he's not in receiving mode. Okay, so we need to shift that energy around. The Page of Cups is definitely in receiving mode, right? So just be aware of, you know, being closed minded or closed off because quite often the best opportunities, Ace of Pentacles, start with something small, but they have the potential to grow into something big. But with the Queen of Swords here, you could be making some um, very big decisions here in regards to your money, your career path, all that kind of stuff. Um, in your month ahead, maybe you are making a big decision to, you know, buy that car, or buy that house or go for that new job, right? Um, the Queen of Swords, you can also have some very um, frank and very clear discussions about, uh, you know, about boundaries with money, right? Especially with yourself, right? It's like, okay, I, my spending's out of control. I got to put the brakes on. Nope, I need to do this, 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 and this. So you may be really... Um, and putting your foot down with yourself. Okay. Uh, sometimes those are the hardest boundaries to, uh, you know, to stick with, right? Uh, cause we can talk ourselves out of them really easily sometimes. Um, the Queen of Swords can also be part of the discussions and the boundaries that you have about money with someone else, with a significant other, um, or with whoever, a business partner, whoever it is you share money and resources with. All right. Um, it's like, we got to stop this. We got to stop the bleeding. We've got to, you know, make better choices, all that kind of stuff. So the queen of swords, very important conversation and very important decisions that you may be uh, needing to do in the month ahead. But this can be an awesome conversation about money as well with this. Okay. A little bit of magic in the air for you. Um, there can also be some helpful people that are on your path as well. But again, decisions, judgment card, you might be getting clarity on something. You might be even, um, you know, answer, literally answering a call. Okay. Quite often the, the judgment card is like, we've answered the call or our prayers have been answered. But with the Queen of Swords here as well, there could be that all important phone call or email or text message. So Four of Cups, make sure you see it, okay? Um, because with that Four of Cups, this can be something that you don't see. Um, so because we've got Mercury retrograde at play, we cannot ignore it, all right? Um, check your spam folders, Check your deleted items. Check any alternate email accounts that you may have. Double check, especially if you're going for a new job or something like that. Double check and make sure people have the right phone number for you that they can get a hold of you. All right. Because someone's calling. OK, the judgment card can also be about seeing the light, seeing the light at the end of the tunnel, seeing the truth seeing where you want to go and having a deep sense of knowing about something and knowing that you are making the right decision. We are assessing something here with the judgment card. Something hidden may come to light for you, something you didn't see. It might be something quite unexpected, but the judgment card can also represent that we've got this energy of forgiving and healing and maybe even restoring balance, right? But we've got to maybe let something go, kiss something goodbye so that we can move forward in a better direction. Um, and this can also sometimes represent second chances. So you may actually have a do over, um, available for you here, but the judgment card, right? Making those all important decisions, but we do have spirit connection here big time for you guys. So very much 
Ask for help from your spiritual soul tribe if you need it. But remember, manifest away. Okay, manifest, manifest. Attach feelings, page of cups to whatever you're manifesting, ace of pentacles. And it will have a greater resonance with the universe. The chariot card, we already said. Card of destiny. This can be a vehicle. This can be movement, moving from one situation to another. It is an energy of success and overcoming obstacles. So whatever decisions that you make, your actions that you take are going to get you to where you want to get to with the six of wands, which is also an energy of success, being rewarded in some way, and also maybe even getting recognized, public recognition perhaps for some of you here with this energy. But the stars are aligning for you. The chariot card is a card of destiny where your wishes, your dreams, your goals come true, the planetary influences, right? Something is aligning for you. But the chariot card also speaks to your ambition, your willpower, your drive, your determination, and your actions, which are really what will get you to where you want to go. And remember, the universe will align people and places and situations and opportunities for us, but it's up to us, Chariot, to act upon it. All right. Um, we don't always get everything handed to us on a silver platter, but with the six of wands here as well, this is like, I did it. I'm feeling good and I am moving in the best direction possible. So it's an awesome energy, a little bit of magic in your month. Let's pull some money manifestation cards. We've got counselor, destiny, man, I'm telling you, there's some little mystery here for you. We've got a key with travel. Fear of failure with a padlock, okay. The key unlocks the padlock, all right. Got denial, hopefully that key is a skeleton key and opens more than one padlock. And we have dependent with a stopwatch, okay. So number one, depend on yourself to make the right choices and the right decisions. Number two, you're part of your financial prosperity and abundance and your decisions that you make may depend on other people, Okay, and the dependent energy is saying you can't fully come into your power if you rely on others for financial support. So, you know, this is really about dealing with money matters, um, taking responsibility. Okay, and, um, you know, it's also, well, maybe there's people dependent on you or maybe you're dependent on other people, but how can we restore the balance in that? Um, we do have two padlocks here. So uh, with the key there, though, is unlocking your, the things that are locked for you, right? But we do need to face things. Fear of failure. Do we have a fear of failure? Or, you know, remember, we've got that four of cups sitting there. Okay, we're closed off to something or we're not seeing something or we don't want to see something. All right. And sometimes it's fear. It's like, I want this thing, but I'm just going to close my eyes. Right. Um, you know, because fear of failure can be quite debilitating. All right. And fear of failure can stop you from even trying. So we don't want that. We want you to be open and we want you to go for the gold. Um, we've got denial here as well. The judgment card. There's something hidden. OK, um, with the denial energy, is it something you are purposely not wanting to see? Remember that four of cups as well. Right. And so we got to see the truth that the queen of swords will help you in that energy. See the truth and get things out in the open so that you can make a decision. You can deal with issues and you can move forward. Right. And sometimes it's fear that's hidden. We do have destiny here for you, okay? You have some sort of destiny that's being fulfilled in your career path, all right? Um, and this particular card says that part of your work, for some of you here, will help elevate the consciousness of the planet in some way. It can be a small, tiny way. It can be a big way, all right? But we also do have counselor with the star in a jar. And for some of you here, maybe your path um, to financial freedom and prosperity may be by helping other people. Your compassionate nature makes you a good listener. Your advice is sought after and your opinion is a valuable commodity. So think, how can you translate that into money? How can you translate that into a career path, maybe even a brand new career path or you know, um, succeeding where you are now, right? So you can use a lot of skills and talents to make money. And so that may, message might be for some of you, but I do feel there's a mystery, something mysterious going on. So keep an open mind, keep an open heart here, guys. All right. Remember that ace of pentacles right in the heart of your reading. Bam. 
going to leave all that there for you guys. I hope there was something here for you. If so, please do like, share, subscribe, all that wonderful stuff. Any interaction with, from you in on the video does help it get seen. So I thank you in advance. Um, but I hope you guys have a wonderful month ahead, and I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.